If you were born on the same year that Shenmue 2 was released, you're now able to vote, buy fireworks and get a tattoo without asking for your parents' permission. For series devotees, it's been 18 long years of waiting to find out where Ryo Hazuki's quest to avenge his murdered father will lead him next. And at long last, we're going to get some answers. And probably a lot of new questions too. Do I look like I'd know anything about that? The road to Shenmue 3 has been long and challenging then, with legendary game designer Yu Suzuki ultimately turning to fans for help in making the latest chapter in his incredibly ambitious saga a reality. Nearly 70,000 people donated over $6 million to the project back in 2015. That's the power of a cliffhanger approaching adulthood people. The first Shenmue is regarded as one of the original open-world adventures, a game that paved the way for some of the titans of the genre that dominate the charts today. Naturally, there have been concerns that Shenmue 3 would seek to take cues from contemporary open-world games and lose some of its idiosyncratic charm in the process. Not so, this is as deliberately paced and packed with delightful little details as fans expect. As Ryo takes his first steps through the rural Chinese village of Bai Lu, it's immediately apparent that this is a game that wants you to take your time and soak up the atmosphere. And after an 18-year wait, it seems rude not to. Yu Suzuki and his talented team haven't lost a beat when it comes to creating worlds that feel authentic, organic and lived in. On the outskirts of Bai Lu, a gentle babbling stream flows through rolling fields teeming with flowers, trees and rocky outcrops. The village itself is perfectly imperfect. Signs are cracked and worn with age. The corrugated iron rooftops are weathered, scratched and dented. Vegetable patches are abundant with crops, and street stalls are packed with enticing foods and intriguing curios. There's an admirable level of craft on display here that warrants pouring over every square inch. Hey there. As fans are well aware, Rio is not afraid of striking up a conversation with anyone who cares to listen, which in Shenmue's case is practically everyone. The NPCs of Shenmue 3 are many and memorable, from scrappy little kids with a penchant for Tai Chi to craggy old kung fu masters with lustrous white eyebrows. Unlike the environments, the character art style veers away from photorealism and steers closer to caricature, allowing for a welcome diversity of faces and body types. Somewhat ironically, this serves to contribute to the overall air of authenticity. Honestly, I don't think your kung fu is strong enough. Although he's been studying martial arts since he was seven, Ryo still has plenty to learn, and China has a lot to teach him. By visiting various schools and encountering masters, you're able to pick up and develop a range of new techniques. Sometimes you'll simply be perfecting your Bruce Lee-style one-inch punch against a wooden training dummy, but often you'll be trying to land moves on human opposition in a bid to improve their efficacy and upgrade Ryo's core skills. All that training is intended to get Ryo ready for the real world, where enemies and disciples of his arch-rival Lan Di are lining up to bruise that pretty face of his. Shenmue 3's combat is rebuilt from the ground up, but the influence from Yu Suzuki's previous work is still evident, and not necessarily limited to his experience in fighting games. In a sly nod to the racing franchise that first drew Suzuki to the world's attention, players can choose between automatic transmission and manual transmission. The former automates combo strings for the benefit of players who are more concerned with enjoying the story, while manual leaves everything in your hands. Ryo will pick up a number of new styles to sit alongside the moves he picked up in the previous two games, and will have to make strategic use of everything in his arsenal to counter his rival's deadly techniques. And finally, Shenmue 3 couldn't call itself a Shenmue game if it wasn't filled with engrossing minigames and compelling diversions, all designed to distract Ryo from his grand quest. This it knows all too well, as within minutes of entering Bai Lu, Ryo will happen upon his first capsule toy machines, a true Shenmue signature. Soon after, he's goaded into gambling away what little he has on dice, vintage pachinko boards and even turtle races. As you continue to explore, you'll also discover some incredibly retro arcade games, including the returning, reflex-testing favourite QTE title. 
you can experience the long-awaited third chapter of Ryo Hazuki's quest for vengeance when Shenmue 3 releases on PlayStation 4 and the Epic Game Store on November 19th.